I can't walk much. I don't intend to if I can find a horse. There's no time like the present. Look. Get aboard those nags once, and it'll be easier from then on. I'll be a... It's a good thing it ain't far to town. Yeah, we just well start walking and tell the sheriff. Yeah. I got some mail for you. <laughs> if you ain't interested, neither am I. in a good mood now? I've never seen a better one. How much did you say? Three dollars. There's your three. And one, two, three for me. We'll leave the rest for your paw. And remember, if you ever tell him what happened to his money, mm -hmm, come quick. Get away if you have to. What the? What the Sam Hill is the idea of sleeping? Uh, might ask you the same question. Let me see those letters. Hello? Here's one from the prison. Notice of escape of one Lou Evans, also known as Utah Evans. Serving a life sentence for murder, last seen in the northwestern section of the state. Also, one Romano, Kalina. Nationality unknown. Speaks Spanish, Italian, and is dangerous. Escaped same time as Evans. Evans, former head of the notorious U gang. Horse thieves, cattle rustlers, bank holdups. Hmm. I hope they don't come to Texana. Come on. He's done for. 
Get all the men you can together. We're going after Mr. Utah, because that was him, just as sure as we're here. Boys, take him inside. Sheriff, someone stole our horses right from under our noses. Yeah? Someone shot and killed Peterson, the cashier, just now, right in front of our eyes. You boys want to join us? Sure. Yes, then get to the barn and get some horses. Well, there, fresh tracks. horses? We've got them. Got nothing. They're turning around to face us so they can fight. Well, they'll get it. You shouldn't have done that. You're crazy. Yeah? Well, I'm not crazy enough to let him take me back for that bank job. Well, that finishes McClay. Come on, let's go. Get a drink if you want it. The last chance you 
got between here and Norton's ranch. Hey, you must be pretty sure that this Joe Norton will be right anxious to give up his comfortable ranch home and move into Texana for no good reason. After I get through giving Joe Norton an earful, he'll be in Texana before we get back. He'll be that man. Get up. Come up, Jeff. Ma. Took two of us to get you in, but I guess I can get you out all right. Whoa. Come on, now. There we are. Yes. Oh, there. Oh, go away and let me alone. I can take care of myself. If it ain't it, Mrs. Terry McClay. And if mine don't deceive me, I'm looking at the laziest man on earth. Hello, Joe. How are you? How are you, Ma? Fine. Say, Ma, I ain't lazy. I'm just tired. I've been back up here in the wilderness country doing assessment work on my mining claims. Lord, I've been going over three months. Just got back today. Man's entitled to a rest, ain't he? You ain't gonna get no rest, Joe. Oh, uh, meet my deputy, Tex Carter. Your deputy? Since when did you start running the sheriff's office? Well, how are you, Tex? Fine. Sit down, Ma, sit down. Oh, 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 not there. Over here, Ma. That's it. <laughs> All right, Ma. Shoot. When Terry McCray followed you into office ten years ago, you thought the days of horse thieves, cattle rustlers, and token six guns had been relegated to the dark ages. I sure did. Lord, I ain't had a six gun on my hip since. Be right awkward trying to carry a six gun again. Well, you better start practicing because you're going to be carrying one pretty soon. Well, I don't get you. You mean that? Terry? Was laid away a month ago. Gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ma. I've been trying to run things. But it ain't no use, Joe. I'm a woman. And a woman's got no business in politics or button in on a man's job. Who got him, Ma? Maybe I can explain that a little easier. Now, the bank was held up and robbed. Peterson, the cashier, was murdered. Now, Terry formed a posse and went out after them. We found them, and one of their bullets found Terry. Now, ever since then, there's been nothing but hold-ups and continuous murders. And we ain't getting nowhere in apprehending these criminals. This is the last evidence they left us. Utah pinned up for good. Is he getting any new converts for his brand? I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, he used to bring the man. And a fellow wearing the U brand on his hand was a good man to keep away from. A branded man wasn't wanted by decent citizens. So he turned back to the gang whose brand he wore. We ain't heard nothing about that yet. Well, you will. If something ain't done to corral him right quick. You mean you're coming back with us? Well, now, I'm not going to sit around here with you, Todd Large. You go on back to Texana. I'll be there as soon as you are. I'm going to take a shortcut over the hills where there ain't no wagon trails. Oh, boy. See my horse anywhere? Which one? Sonny. Ah, uh, I keep away from that critter. 
I ain't got no love for Mustangs. Say, you go get a rope on him. I'm riding. Oh, bud. I'm expecting my boy home this week. When he lands here, you tell him I've gone over to Texana, will you? And uh, tell him it's a good place for him to keep away from. I'll be looking for you, Joe. You good for nothing, old son of a... I don't know what we'd do without <laughs> you, Joe. Thanks, Ma. Go on, Tex. Bye. What's the matter with you, Sonny? What are you getting spooky about? You see something I don't see? It's me, your dad. There you are, son. They did it! They did it! That man they call Utah! I was on my way home. Figured I'd get there before you got... Well, you understand what you're going to do, huh, Jill? I think so. I'm to go down the street, then Reno, uh, I mean, Mr. Norton here, is to grab me and I'll scream, and then you'll... No, not him, Tex. Tex will come along and grab him. I suppose it sounds kind of loco, but I have my own reasons, see? And when Tex grabs Reno, that's when I end the situation. You just go on down the street. You understand? I think I do. Good. Time enough to get down the street. Then you follow him, understand? Son, you're dealing the first card off a deck. We got stacked to suit ourselves. Ready to join up with us? Discovered you ain't wanted around here, have you? Not yet, I haven't. Well, you will. Won't be long before people get wise to you. Members is outside. Which one? The young fellow we got to put up such a battle. How does he look? Late. It won't be long before he'll be coming in. We need him. All we can get for what I'm aiming to do. Have a whiskey.
I warned you here yesterday we didn't want your kind hanging around town. What did he do, honey? Nothing. He just scared me and he oh, grabbed me. Can a man walk down the street without having a woman scream? Sorry. Maybe you didn't understand me, young fellow, when I told you to get out of town yesterday. I'm going to try and make myself clearer. Now, you get out and stay out. Well, where am I going to go? I ain't got a job. Well, that ain't my worry. There ain't no jobs in this town. I just took the last one myself. Now, get out. I wasn't sure, but I am now. That voice belongs to one man, Mustang Norton. The fellow that sent me up. My friend, this is no place for us. Not if he gets a look at us. What have you got against me, mister? Oh, nothing in particular. And everything in general. I just don't want your kind hanging around. I reckon you understand. Now get. Inside of 24 hours, the warden of a certain penitentiary is going to get news that two of his star boarders are coming back. Go on down to my office. I told you you wouldn't be welcome once you were labeled. I ought to kill you for doing it. I've heard that before, but I'm still alive. The only thing you can do is throw in with us. You're not wanted here. We'll treat you fair. We'll give you a cut on everything we do. How about it? There's nothing else for me to say, granted as I am. Sure. Did you ever do time? What do you mean? Did you ever do time in the prison? <laughs> no, not yet. Let me warn you. From now on, you'll pack a gun, and you'll keep it handy. If they ever take you, it'll be more than time you'll do, and don't forget it. You'll shoot first and talk afterwards. Let's go. Where's your horse? Run by the livery station. Smart. Handy for a quick getaway. That's where ours are, too. They carried it off just fine, Phil. They walked right into it, didn't they? Isn't that a dangerous thing to have your boy with them? Why, if they found out that he was... Well, well, I hate to think what they'd do to him if they found out. We just got to figure that they won't find out. We'll have to have got them safe behind the bars. Joe so, Norton, if you ain't a bigger fool than I thought he was. Not that I'm telling you what to do, but you let your boy go off with that good-for-nothing jailbird. Yep. When I get the rest of them all right here and now. Probably had a lot of trouble doing it. A lot of your townspeople picking up lead that wasn't meant for them. Yes, I know, but... Uh... Now, look here. Didn't you tell me the woman's place wasn't in politics or messing around in a man's business? <laughs> Maybe I did. You know, Ma, I... I... I've been batching it a long, long while. And I got to thinking the other day about those nice uh, messes the soda biscuits used to make when I used to come visiting you and Terry, remember? And I was thinking that maybe a, a bunch of them would go good right now. Why don't you say what you mean? To get the heck out of here and stay where I belong. All right, 
All right, come along, Jill. This ain't no place for women. Go ahead, have your way, you stubborn old... Come along, Jill. If you really want some biscuits, I'll make them for you tomorrow. Oh, I, I never mind, Jill. Uh, you better save your biscuits and, and, and try them out on Reno. Honey, uh, if you see text time, I want to see it, will you? seen it in a long time. In fact, I ain't used them cuffs once. They're the kind of cuffs you put them on a prisoner's hands, you can't get them off. That's the kind to be. Yeah. Well, that's the kind I'm looking for. And when I get these on, there'll be no need of taking them off from the fellow that's wearing them. That cabin up in Dead Man's Ghost, still there? You mean one up for the mining claim? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was the time I was up there. It ain't been used in recent years for anything. You know, Tex, I got a hunch it's being used right now. I'm going to amble out there after dark and, and look things over. Yeah, you want me to go with you? No. You stay here and keep your eye on things. Adios. How come you joined up so soon? Things are working out just like they used to. Found out he wasn't wanted. Figured best to tag along with us. Tie your horse up here. He'll be all right. Days are too short. It's getting dark already. Hey, Smokey. Light your lamp. We are a new member. Judging from the right hand, I'd say he's mighty recent. Somehow I didn't get your name. Of course, that brand would identify you. But we all got handled. Well, I want you to call Reno. Is that a last name? No, that's all. Glad to know you. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. You're forgetting your own when it was still kind of sore. Forget it. Gather around, all of you. Our band isn't as big as it used to be. But we can all handle guns. You know our necks will be in a rope if we make a mistake. Do you have to mention that? We're gonna work fast like we did in the old days. But we've gotta have money to work on. So we'll clean out the bank, the saloon, and the gambling hall. And then clear out. Yeah. <laughs> I recognize a voice that I haven't heard for 
10 years. When this iron gets red hot, you can figure what I'm going to do with it. Oh, are you going to add another member to the gang? No. I'm going to make the members of this gang safe from the man that sent me up. When I get through with him, he won't be able to identify any of us, ever. All right, boys, you can turn in or do anything you want to. You've got that gun at your hip. Don't get any funny ideas in your head about squaring up with me over that brand on you. Others have tried it. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't that. I think I'll take a stroll outside. It's hot in here. Don't stray too far away from the cabin. Reno Norton, his boy. And I had him right here. What are you doing, Utah? We're not going to let that boy get away. We'll have to move fast. Norton's boy will spread the alarm and tip off our plans. We run across Mustang. I mean Joe Norton, the law. I want him alive. Don't forget it. Where in the Sam Hill are you going? What's the matter? Did you run out from under your hat? Dad, I've wrecked things. Left my hat inside the cabin. Utah took a look at it, saw my name in it. He knows I'm your son. Well, I wouldn't let that worry me none. He's bound to find it out sooner or later anyhow. What are they up to? They're going to raid the town, clean out the bank, the saloon, and the gambling hall. Then they're coming after you. That's where they're wrong. They ain't going after me, because I'm going after them. Get a hold of Tex Carter and spread the alarm. I'm going to keep on Utah's trail. Go ahead.
the one man I'm after. I've got it. Now listen. Don't make a slip on this, because if you do, my neck will pay the penalty. Utah. I reckon you've seen me before, haven't you? I'll say I have. And I'll say I'm glad to see you again. Well, you won't be saying that when you drop through that old trap door. Come on. Get up. Move over to your horse. Never mind, Utah. Hoist them up, be third. Quick. You walked right into it, mister. Ten years is a long time to sit behind bars. Scheming and planning what you're going to do when you get out? Yeah. I'll bet your head's chock full of ideas, Utah. Well, I ain't saying it ain't your move. You're holding a winning hand, Utah. You know I do. Time up to that tree. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get my hat. I ain't going anywhere half undressed. Don't worry. You won't be needing it. Come here, Bill. Tie his feet, too. Enjoy the moonlight, Mustang. That's what they used to call you when you ruled this country with an iron hand. Oh, I always liked the moonlight, Utah. On a moonlight night, I got you last time. Remember? We'll pass that. And enjoy the sun up when you see it. Because by that time, we'll be back here. And you'll be looking at the sun for the last time. It's gonna be black from then on for you. Oh, I see. You're wrong. After daylight, you won't see. He's tied tight. Here's his gun, Smokey. I hope you don't have to use it, but if you do... He won't get away. You'll find him tied that tree when you come back. Here's your horse, Utah. It won't take us long. What's the matter? You don't mind if a man whistles to himself, do you? It hurts my ears.
Chew, you know a Count Mustang? Chew, Sonny. Randall's place, he'll do the rest. What's that horse doing around here? Get out of here, you good for nothing. Let me see that rope. Well, mister, if they come back this way, they'll find you. If they come back to the cabin, they'll find me. And I'll be waiting for them. Adios.
Get this out of here. Well, we'll count the profits, divide, and make our getaway. I ought to count you out, Smokey. Letting June Norton get away from us. Maybe you'd like to have had the sock in the jaw that I got from him. Well, another one won't do you any harm. Come on, you two. Put her up. Let's see how much. Never mind, you two. Stick them up. It's right nice of you to come back here, Utah, and bring your old friend Smokey with you. Seems to me like you miscalculated. You told me I never was going to see another sunrise. Well, here I am. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure. I'm going to wedge all you birds into one pair of handcuffs. Get a chance to use those handcuffs. Time up, boys. Bellini, get the fire started. Put the iron in it. And when it's white hot, mister, you can figure what's coming to you. Got him tied? Yes, his hands. Bring him over here. Put him on the table and tie his feet. coming out of the chimney. I've waited a long time for this chance. Say, it's funny we didn't see my dad along the trail. You don't suppose they could have... What, get a hold of your dad? <laughs> I should say not. Come on, boy. Let's smoke them out. them is crawling towards the cabin. What has he got in his hand? He can't make it out yet. But the way he's carrying it, it looks like dynamite. Go get me a rifle. I ain't afraid of them. I owe them something for this. No, 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 no. Not that way. Go around. I know. I was up here before. I'll be careful. Be long, mister. With the sounds of the shooting outside, I'll say it won't, too. I 
I'm fixing it so you won't be able to holler when we give it to you. Goodbye, Mr. Norton, and saying it in a hurry. In case you'd like to know why, I'll tell you. They plant a dynamite under the cabin. Won't take more than two minutes to reach it. Once they light it, we won't be here. But you will. Adios! She nears the cabin. Look out. Almost there. All right, get up, you talk. Give me that good hand. And when the boys get back, with Kalini and the others, I'm going to wire the warden to dust off that old scaffold. I reckon he'll be needing it. All right. Come on, sit down yourself, Ma. Say, Ma, I've been thinking. 
How long is a widow woman supposed to supposed to wear weeds? Why, I I oh, go on you have another biscuit. Well, any time you want to study border. In fact, uh, two of them. <laughs> 